YC Group. Today we're going to talk about how to put together your Lincoln Barber chair. So when you receive your chair, you will, it will come just as you see here. You will have a headrest, these two foot pedals which go on the bottom of the footrest are actually tied right here. So you just take these off and then put them on the bottom. We'll go over that in a second. You'll also have six screws and 12 washers. Okay, so as you can see, I've already installed one of the foot pedals. And I just want to quickly mention that these are adjustable. In order to adjust, just simply unscrew the bottom screw and then turn the black part to adjust it. When you have it at its desired height, you tighten it by tightening, by holding the black part in place while tightening the screw. And to get it into your footrest, you simply screw it in. You do want to tighten these with the wrench. So the next step is just to put the seat back directly onto this bracket. We're just going to line it, line the screws up with the holes on both sides until it falls into place. Now we're going to secure it using the washers and the screws that we got. So it'll be two washers and one screw for each, or I'm sorry, one nut for each screw. You're going to put the washer that's not connected all the way around first then the other washer, and then the screw. When we're finished, we're going to tighten that with a 14 millimeter wrench. Okay, next stop, the neck rest. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is just add our neck rest. Just simply push the button in the back and slide it into place. You do wanna make sure that the pillow, there's a flat portion that one goes through the back. The bubbled portion will go more towards the front of the chair. So let's talk about how to use it. All right, so now that you have your barber chair put together, let's discuss how to use it. The first thing we'll go over is the reclining mechanism. When your customer is sitting in your chair, all you have to do is simply pull back on the lever, look towards the back of the chair, and then just press back on the seat. When your customer is in here, it will be a lot easier to do. When you're ready to raise them up, just make sure you support them by holding on to the back seat, but just push the lever again the exact same direction, and it will automatically come up. Now let's talk about using your pump. When you want to raise your customer up, just use short strokes on the pump pedal to raise them to the desired height. You can still easily turn your chair. Be sure not to turn them in the same direction repeatedly because it can cause the oils to not circulate properly through the pump and it can make your pump stick. When you need to lock your chair into place, simply lift up on the pump pedal with your foot and now it won't turn. To lower your customers, just push the pump pedal all the way to the floor and it will go down. Make sure that you tell your customer not to stand on the footrest when they're getting in and out of the chair. Um, this, although it is steel, it's iron, but it can still snap off. So make sure that they are, they're only having their feet on this part of the chair when they are seated. Um, on the sides of the chair, the left side you'll find a towel rack. And on the other side, there's another little hook for any accessories you may need. If there is a chance that you have a problem with your gas spring or you just want to see how it functions on the inside, you need to remove this seat. The only thing you need to do is remove two wing nuts. 
from underneath the chair. And there's one located in the center in the front and then one in the back as well. So if you have any problems, feel free to give us a call. Thanks for watching.